Here's how to zoom a video in or out using InShot for iOS. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure you're running the latest version. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Open the app, tap on video, and bring in the video clip that you want to work with. In this video, I'm going to use a video clip that I've already been working on. I'll select my draft from the list of drafts. The video clip is now loaded. Hey, does my emoji look like me? First, play the video to make sure that it's the one you want to use. Then, Tap on Canvas and select Zoom. If you change the ratio, you'll notice a background will appear in the video. This is important for later. I'll set it back to no frame and then tap Zoom. There are two ways to zoom a video in or out. You can use the slider provided, or you can pinch and zoom on the actual video itself. Moving the slider to the right will zoom the video all the way in. If I wanted to zoom the video out, I could also pinch to zoom it out back to normal. Moving the slider back to the middle will bring the video back to the normal zoom. This is the zoom level the video was at before I started working on it. Moving the slider to the left will zoom the video all the way out. Notice that you see a blurred background behind the video. Now that I've got the zoom level I want, I'll tap on the check mark and go back to the main timeline. Did you know that you can also move the video left, right, up, or down? To do this, tap on Canvas once more, tap on Zoom, and you can either use the four options below the slider to do this, or simply long press on the video and drag it to the position that you want it, either left, right, up, or down. Once again, if you do, you'll see the blurred background behind the video footage. Keep this in mind. If you're working on a video clip and you need some help, tap the question mark in the upper right hand corner. This will open the help documentation. Then select the topic that you want. However, this topic is not available within the documentation, so that's why I put this video together. Because I've made changes to this clip, I'll need to save a new copy. To do this, tap the export icon in the upper right hand corner and then tap save. Wait for processing to finish. Leave a comment below so I can help you. Please try to keep the comments clean, keep watching, and I'll definitely see you in the next video.